Hello, what's up? It's Hatless Chimp here again with another exciting video. Today we are going to take a look at the PlayStation 4 Pro with the Epson 9300-5040UB and The Last of Us in HDR and with not HDR selected. So sit back and enjoy what's going to unfold. Hopefully it's informative for you and don't forget to subscribe. Cheers. Yep, that's two different Batman socks. Maybe we should take the dog for a walk more often and get out of this uh, theater room and stop playing games. Mm, no, I don't think so. All right, let's get cracking. No doubt you've all seen this PS4 menu before. Menu before, menu before. I could be a rapper, yeah? I could be a rapper. I reckon I could be a rapper. Come on, Atlas, back on track. <laughs> so with my setup, I like to roll with the 2160p aka 4K selected permanently. Unfortunately, I'm only capable of 8-bit in this resolution. Also, just quickly, what you're seeing here is a 135-inch CinemaScope screen that I'm recording with my camera. The actual image size that you're seeing is around about 108 inches in 16 by 9. If you're a little confused with that, uh, I do have a video, a recent video, that you can view. I'll put a link below in the description. So sadly, this projector cannot do HDR at 60Hz at 4K resolution, so I'm going to change it to 1080p. So what you see right there is me changing my AVR settings to allow for Dolby Atmos upscaling of a 7.1 signal. What do you reckon I have selected at the moment? HDR on or off? More Roberts, guys. How do you know they're coming? Two of our guys died trying to take Tess out. I guarantee that she and Joel are on their way here right now to get Robert. Jesus. We should not take Yep, so what you saw was HDR selected on. Let's spread out and make sure no one's creeping around in here. Well, within the video color range, I select expanded. I find it does a better job of showing me the detail in the shadows. Normal's not bad. It is uh, viewable, but expanded does a better job with HDR. And with color space with HDR on, 709 is not going to get it done as it blows everything out in the reds uh, dramatically. That's what I noticed straight away. Um, you can see it in the sign. You can see it on the skin. The skin's normally a dead giveaway. Like in movies, it is absolute hits you in the face. And 2020 is the new format that came in in what 2012 yeah it came in i think 2012 so that's your uh, color spaces for you so 2020 looks good with hdr on with hdr 1 and 2 their picture is really good i was tossing up between hdr 1 and 2 3 is definitely too dark 4 is too dark um, and sdr just blows out on hdr content and i think auto reverts to hdr 2 Now in the game settings I turn HDR off and the projector goes No, don't do that to me! I like HDR! I want HDR! Then I said, too bad, I gotta make a video for my subscribers. Okay, if it's only once. So once again, the video range, it's totally up to you. Normal, expanded, whatever your preference is. Now in the color space, the 709 and 2020 have swapped roles. 2020 is blowing out in the reds, and the 709 is doing a far better job, but still looks pale compared to the 2020 with HDR. It looks far more pale. You can notice the difference. So with any SDR content, you cannot have HDR mode selected at all from 1 to 4. It doesn't matter. It's too dark. By the way, this is SDR. I'm just doing a little lap. Move up, move up. Nah, mate, we're not moving forward. I'm testing HDR. Now this is HDR2 selected with Rec20 and expanded color space.
and this is with HDR1 selected, which I didn't mind. This is SDR gameplay now, and she bloody moved up. I told her not to, and now she get uh, shot. She just wouldn't listen to me at all. It upsets me. And on that note, we flick to HDR. Now for some side-by-side -side comparisons, SDRs on the left, HDR1 in the middle, and HDR2 on the far right. Also, I'd like to take this time to thank my subscribers and everyone that's been watching my videos and submitting comments, and it all helps me make my channel better and make better content. So, I appreciate every one of you. Thank you so much. Catch you in the next video. Bye.